Anyway, good morning. It is about 6 a.m., not quite. 6 a.m. New Mexico time. 60 degrees outside. 64 degrees inside because I got a window open. And it shows, the wind sock shows, the wind to be out of the southeast, probably at about six to eight miles an hour, which is nice. Beautiful clear skies, got one little string of clouds in the east where the sun's going to be coming up over Carrizozo Mountain. But anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now just went right on by. So if there's anything you want to do, you better do it. Speaking of which, uh, they're supposed to pour the cement today. Supposed to. And uh, also, I've got a uh, tow dolly on order, but I can't contact anybody. <laughs> I wanted to get an update uh, on the status, to be, you know, because I have to be here when it's delivered. They're delivering it fully assembled, apparently. And uh, I called yesterday. Well, I sent an email first, no response. I called, left a message, no response. Went to their website, to the chat room. Chat room wasn't working, but I left a, a question, you know, like what's the status of order number, whatever it was. Anyway, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's frustrating sometimes, but be that as it may, a year from now, I won't even remember this happened, okay? or e probably two months from now. But yeah, I'm uh yeah, I'm gonna get uh a uh what do you call it? A mail forwarding service thing. It's 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 just where they your mail goes and they allow you electronically to check your mail and then if you want to have it forwarded you can. And but I'm gonna keep my address here in uh Carrizozo also and what I'll do is when I'm traveling I will do a temporary forwarding to the electronic mail service <clears throat> so that I keep my address here in Carrizozo. Uh, I'm not going to have any packages forwarded, so don't send me any packages. And, uh, well, I mean, you know, I'll be here for another week or two. So, yeah, if you've already sent something, don't be concerned. I'll be here. But, uh, yeah, but in the future, for future reference, you know, I think you got the point here but anyway what else never worry about what you cannot change and uh, yeah enjoy your life the best way you can and step one is to get out of bed get up i mean if i'm up romeo's up matilda's up the goat's up everybody is up where is the goat oh there he is didn't see him but anyway uh dogman chronicles good comment call thank you check his channel out on youtube Gia, J, J, N, N, J N Mayer, that will take care of Rusty's mice problem, the snake. Yeah, I think that was some kind of a bull snake. It wasn't a poisonous snake. You know, a poisonous snake has kind of a, usually has a diamond-shaped head. This one had a kind of just a little pointed head. <clears throat> no rattles, no, you know, it, it was a good snake, I think. Yeah, but yeah, it would, it definitely lives on mice. No way, Jose says, you knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, he was over there in that corner. Apparently, uh, he had been coming here for a while, and he got in there, and he thought, wait a minute, where's all the mice? Uh, they weren't any. Uh, but anyway, Van and Halen, uh, famous last words on the snake. This will be Rusty's final video. You know, a lot of people assume that all snakes are, are venomous. They're not. Uh, in fact, very few of them are. Uh, yeah. But anyway, Sue Martinez, uh, he is a good guy. He is welcoming you to his world where he will take care of your rodents and his venomous cousins. Thank you for letting him live. Well, I, I, I wasn't planning on bothering him. I just happened to see him crawling uh, down uh, up the road towards the, the building and watched him go in there. And I thought, well, I'll go take a picture of him and make him famous. Ralph P., a tour down memory lane. Not much has changed. Thanks. Yeah, that was on Capitan. But it is a nice little place there, no doubt, in Capitan that I had. 
but I, I like this so much better. It's it's so much more private. You don't hear any barking dogs. I can go walking for an hour and and there's no barking dogs, no traffic of any kind, of course. But you know that's that's the upside. The downside is I can't walk to the library. I can't walk to the grocery store, and you know so you know it, it's it's a trade off. But I can go to uh, Ruidoso and do my shopping. It takes about thirty minutes. Beautiful drive through uh, Nogal and Alto into Ruidoso. Yeah, so yeah, I just enjoy the drive anyway. Uh, Sarah Norman. Wow, that is amazing. I absolutely hate dogs. I would have to try it. Thanks. That was on the little dog deterrent I have. I still have it. It's just a battery operated, makes an ultrasonic sound that dogs can pick up. And, and it, it, uh, and, and Capitan, it helped. I, I haven't used it since. Uh, Scotty says, nice shirt. Cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Wayman Samang, the old lot brings back plenty of good memories. Yeah, it was a, it was a good spot. I enjoyed it. I, I had it off and on for about, I don't know, two and a half, three years maybe. J-Force 1, Alamogardo's population is nowhere near a quarter million. It has a little over 31,000. That would put it in the small city category. Yeah, it, if, if, if I said that, that Alamogardo had that many people, I misspoke. I know it has around 30,000. Belinda Salinas, I started following your channel when you moved back for the second time to this property. I do not remember so many dogs barking at the time. I like where you currently live better. Yeah, well, the lady that moved in there has one or two dogs. <clears throat> Another lady moved in across the street, and she has one or two dogs. And uh, they're the little dogs, and the little dogs usually do the most barking. Barton Weaver, that snake is wondering what you're doing in his garage. Yeah, it's true. You know, I, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in their home. You know, I'm in Mother Nature's home. Melinda Salinas, Rusty, that is very nice looking shirt. Nice comment call. Yeah, that's a couple that I ordered from a company. I can't remember their name, but I wouldn't recommend them. Why? Well, there's no return policy. Uh, you don't really know after you've paid them if you bought anything or not. And finally, after about two or three weeks, your shirts drift in, you know, and, and that's all right. It worked, but it took a while. Uh, the other, you can tell they're handmade. I mean, you can see where the stitching's done. You know, somebody sat down and sewed those sh shirts. So, yeah, no, they're, they're nice. Uh, they weren't that expensive. They were like uh, $30 a piece or $25 a piece. Well, with delivery, 30. Uh, Van Halen says, I like your shirt, Rusty. It looks good on you. Yeah, thank you. Boz Rocks, he is just waiting on the concrete, too. Yeah, that's on the snake. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they come today. I'd like to get something done, you know. And, uh, yeah, something positive happened here because, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you ever have a business of any kind, keeping your customer informed if they, you know, if they've ordered something or they're waiting on delivery, keeping your customer informed is priority number one. You know, and that's where Amazon has all of these guys beat. I mean, you can, you know, once you order from Amazon, you know the status of it all the way till it's delivered to your front door. You know, if you have any questions, they do have customer support and it works pretty good, you know. And old, <clears throat> old van guy says, haven't you bought that twice? Yeah, I did. I bought it, sold it, and sold it. I bought it again. Uh, uh, Claire. Clara McAllister, okay. Yes, wow. Please be careful on the snake. Yeah, well, you know, it, you know there are snakes. They're called coach whips. <clears throat> they look similar to that. They're long, thin snakes like that. And, and they'll charge you. And what they'll do is uh, they'll they'll wrap around your leg, for example. I've had them do it to me when I was a kid, scared the crap out of me. But they wrap around your leg, and then they start whipping you with their tail, you know, slapping you, you know. Yeah, it'll scare the crap out of you. And they can move. You know, if you think snakes can't move quick, you're, you're dreaming. Proud Texan. Heel, heel rusty. That carport cover would look pretty damn good in Zozo. Yeah, I think it would, too. Uh, the downside of it is if you you put a cover, 
<clears throat> over the RV and give you enough space, then you really have killed a lot of your view. You know what I mean? You know, like right here, if I had a cover, I would have cut off the top of uh, Carrizozo Mountain. I'm not sure I want to do that. I mean, there would be other ways to do it, but uh, to get a large enough cover, I'd have to do that. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Thank you. Mary Valent, he looks hungry. He would keep the mouse population in check. I hope so. I hope that, I hope he catches a lot of them. And, uh, you know, but we have also have, <clears throat> we have rats out here. And there's all kind of rodents out there, man. It's, it's amazing. <clears throat> this is Ken Graham. I remember when you bought the first time. <coughs> and the second time you did a lot of improvements on that place. Yeah, I did. And, and those are, you know, those are things that, you know, once you get them done, uh, that makes it nice, you know, see, because dealing with people to get, you know, like the road done and, and uh, some, some other things done to get the building put in, you know, that's, it's frustrating. I mean, it takes time and effort. And, but anyway, yeah, I did. I got it all done and sold it, made a little money. Okay, I'm fine. Tracy Phillips, yikes on the snake. This is Blue Bee. Uh, smaller towns are a better life if you have the right type of nature and you bit friendly, bit loner, able to fix stuff, cashed up. That rain did Capitan some good. Yeah, the whole area, you know, it's, they're always seem like everybody in, the, in these western areas and southern areas need rain. Uh, Debbie Kami, it's getting those rats and mice, the snake. I hope so. I hope he lives good. Uh, Brixico, I was looking to possibly purchase that lot next to you, to your old lot. Seems like there's a lot of barking dogs in the area, though. That lot on the corner is already sold. Yeah, they, they uh, the lots in Capitan sell pretty quickly, the, the city lots. And uh, but I, I I looked at that corner lot, but I, I have uh, I have no desire to live there now there's a lot of barking dogs in that area and so yeah but it wasn't that bad when i was there but you know, when i first got there because it was just me and uh i didn't have any dogs so i didn't have that issue but now there's four more dogs moved into the area or and then I, well, there's two more just down the street so yeah it's uh it's the way it is uh ambrosia it is a huge snake it was probably about five feet long or in that range. It was nice. And we'll do a couple of more here and we'll shut her down, two or three. Patty Sue Chandler, big snake, cheers me, creeps me out. Be safe, Rusty. Lock your sprout spouts. Hope he doesn't come to try to cuddle up with you. No, he's he's not interested in me. I mean, I'm not anything on his menu. You know, Mary Valent, thanks for the tour. You're very welcome. Two more and we're out. We'll do finish up here. William Crawford, six foot bull snake, keeping the mice away. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's what it was. It's a six foot bull snake or in that range. Mr. Pumpkin, nice. Look like y'all got some rain. I'm over in Phoenix this afternoon. Temperature is 115. Yeah, you know, and a lot of people will say, well, you know, that's a dry heat. It doesn't feel as hot. Uh, it does. It does. I've been in... Uh, Las Vegas and Tucson when it was like 108, 110. <clears throat> no, it's it's hot. It's, it's damn hot, you know. And also, the humidity is so low that if you try to clean the windshield on your vehicle, you put the water on, it's gone. I mean, it evaporates like pow, you know. So you got to be in a hurry. But anyway, guys, from <clears throat> near Carrizozo, New Mexico, on Tuesday morning, hoping that we get the cement done today, uh, Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. And uh, yeah, you just click on the link, go to Amazon and get what you want. Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you, it's good for you. And then uh, take deep breaths, you know, breathe in deep, breathe out slowly. That relieves stress and relieving stress phew, lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes, very good. Uh, do it several times a day. And then what else? Uh, stretch, swivel, walk, walk, walk. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Well, you'll feel better and you may live longer because of that one thing. 
And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. True. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the next video. <laughs> Enjoy your day, guys. Enjoy your life. Um, you might as well. Anyway, adios. Bye-bye.